Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. I hope everybody had a great Christmas Eve and that they have a great, safe Christmas and holidays, period. Um, New Year's is coming up. Um, I'm excited about New Year's and I, you know, for years I've hated Christmas because so many bad things have happened on Christmas, like I get in Christmas after Christmas after Christmas in which bad, horrible things have happened. And, uh, I need to sit. There's this ghetto, it's in a duck of donuts cup, but it's actually tea, sweet tea that I made for. I use Louisiana sweet tea. Um, not sponsored. But delicious. I was just saying that I mine's too sweet, so anyways, um I the you know a few uh, what is that? Okay. I got to see um two good friends of mine that I was really really happy about and um I spent some time with my priest. Um, I went to the doctor, he gave him a good life, you know, uh, like I told you guys, I'm a drug addict, you know, in recovery, I'm a recovering drug addict, but I still see a doctor, you know, to check in and make sure that, you know, I haven't used, etc. And, uh, gave him a good life because I had stuck my tongue ring back through and I, I had, I, th I think I made, I made a video the night that I did it, the night that I did it, and, um, uh, it hadn't swelled that much yet, and my, my appointment was the next day, and it, my tongue was swollen, and, um, she was like, okay, she was like, why can you not keep your eyes open, because I know there wasn't anything in my drug test, I, I know there wasn't, so, but weed, you know, and, uh, <clears throat> she said, tell me, why can you, why is it that you can't keep your eyes open and you have a, a um, oh, the, you know, the way you pronounce your words, you have a, I can't remember, oh, dang, I can't remember how she put it, you know, like, uh, like a list, but you're, how you talk when you're drunk, I can't, I can't remember the word, anyways. And I was like, okay, I can explain both. I said, I'm really high from, um, pot of smokes. I said, and, um, yeah, because that's what I heard. That's not a drug. That's not like that as a drug. It is not. And, um, she was like, well, what about, you know, talking, a slurring. There we go. Slurring my words. Uh, I stuck it on my tongue. I was like, the tongue was swollen. And I had to take it out. Like, it got a little too swollen. And I've had it pierced so many times. And I've taken it out so many times. And I did, I did leave it in there for a while. Like, for four years. Three years. A year. You know. But the last two times I haven't been able to keep it in. And I'm not sure why. I just, uh, it, it annoys me more now. Anyways, um, like I said, I got to see two good friends of mine. Um, one, Belinda, and shout out to her. Hi! I, I love her. She was, she was my best best friend when I lived in that area. Like I said, I moved into the country with everybody, so... The only contact we really have now is like maybe, yeah, well actually I hadn't seen her for that, yesterday's the first time I had seen her in a couple of years, and um, I was so happy, like I couldn't stop hugging her, you know, and I was like, I missed her so much, and it's, she made a gift card, and uh, this cute little, little one that I sat on my nightstand, I thought it was cute. <laughs> Little, little bottle of wine, but, um, and then, uh, Gary, 
was another one that I ran into, and I'm glad that the idea DNA scene God God put things in a place that day. I felt like for me in so many ways, um, and like uh, and shout out to Gary too. Um, I appreciate you leaning on my life and. You know, the things that you did for me, and uh, you helped me so much, and, you know, I, I was in a position where I really needed you, and you were there, and, um, I owe you the world, okay, Merry Christmas. And he, he gave me this awesome ring. I'm going to show it to you this way. And then I, I have this awful tattoo on my finger. It was a name. I got to cover it up four days after I got it. But I, I try to find rings big enough to cover it. And it happens to be, that's right, on my left ring finger. So. Ha ha! It covers it, and I love it. It's just, it's me. It, it really is me. It's something I would wear. Um, I have a unique taste, I guess, in things. Um, and he was spot on with that. But, um, you know, I, I journal a lot, and uh, I was hoping somebody would have bought me a journal. I like the, um, it's what I'm writing in now. But I like like the the thick like leather bound ones, like the way this one shuts and it has it's I like it. I love you know, I love journals and because I write everything down. I like to to be honest, like I, I can't remember a lot of things, so I write things down that way. I can go back and be like, mm, uh huh. Uh huh. You know, so and I always keep um, a notebook. There are notebooks all over, like literally, all over, like notebooks everywhere. I'm also selling on eBay right now, and I know that I think two, one or two has sold, but I still, I still, there are eight. Eight or nine items up st still up for like bid. Um, go right now, Crystal Campbell, and look at my stuff. Um, there is the cutest pair of turquoise fur boots. Like the only reason I'm getting rid of them is because what I got for them to match didn't work out on me. So, I ended up actually selling the outfit, and uh, I didn't want to get rid of the boots. I was hoping that I could find something else that would match them, but I haven't been able to, so I was going to sell those. Um, those are up for sale, and then I broke my ankle a couple of years ago, and uh, it's hard for me to wear really high heels since. Before then, I could wear... Uh, when I was a stripper, I wore nine six heels, nine 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 inches, not with a six inch like, you know. So, yeah, that's the way the, the way this shoe, yeah, cut. I wear nine six because I'm only five one. Um, but now I I have to stick to kitten heels or you know, just like a, a normal regular heel, nothing nothing. Big or, and I have to have like if I have if I have ankle support maybe, but these were way too high. They're leather boots. Um, they go up to your like up to your knee. Um, beautiful silver buckle on the side. I mean they're awesome. And Crystal Campbell, they're up for bid, like, right now. When, by the time I post this, there will only be, like, an hour or two left on the, um, the bidding. So, it depends on how, you know, quick you watch.
watch this video, I guess. But considering the way my views came in, you guys will miss it. But guess what? It'll still be up after this auction. I'm reposting the reposting. So, um, they'll still be up. And there's these awesome white pants with gray, like, um, gray snake print. Awesome. But I was going to tell you guys why. I, one of the reasons I hate Christmas is that me, me and my boyfriend broke up on Christmas. Um, I found out while I was pregnant that the guy, uh, you know, my soon to be baby's father was cheating on me on Christmas Eve. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I saw a good camera. It, it makes me anxious and it calms me down. I'm able to be able to sit here and tell you that guys. Um, let's see. What else is happening? Me and my mom every year get a fight on Christmas. Uh, I don't know why. It's 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 a ritual. Like we would it would just something it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the same without it. Um let's see. What else? I don't know, just everything, and I never had an imagination when I was a kid, so I always knew Santa didn't exist, you know, plus we were poor, so I used to hate Christmas for that reason when I was younger, and then I guess, like, when we did get gifts, like, it seemed like my mom wanted to get me the worst gifts, like, clothes I absolutely hated that I would never wear, and I would try to be honest with her, because of why... Why would, why would you keep things that you don't want? Or, you know what I mean? Just say, I don't like it. You know what I mean? But, um, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm sensitive to that, though. If you get my, if you get a gift from me, tell me you love it. Even if you don't like it, I'm very sensitive to that. Um, let's see. What else? I don't know. Anyways, but I'm trying to be super positive about this year's Christmas, just seeing the birth of Christ, um, Jesus, well, Jesus, um, his, you know, his only begotten son, you know, that walked, walked the, amongst us, and, you know what I mean, was come amongst us, and, you know, change things, um, that said that the right hand of the Father in heaven, um, the birth of him, that, and that's what I'm just trying to stay positive about, I'm sorry if this blows in your hands, it may be, um, I was trying to have my last tray, um, I have become super spiritual, and I feel like I've paid my debt to the world for all the bad things I did. I feel like I've made up for them, and they, you know, only good things are coming to me now, and good things do seem are, are coming to me now. And YouTube is one of them. Like, I love talking to you guys. And if you guys want to listen to my thoughts and my opinions about things and just want to listen to me, uh, message me on Facebook, you know, um, uh, Twitter, uh, Crystal Campbell at I Will Survive Zero. Um, let me see. I don't know. Anyways. Um, there is something that I truly want for Christmas, and I truly hope that I get this coming year, and it's somebody to love. Um, 
I, I feel like I've been single long enough and I need somebody to love. Like I'm ready to settle down and just have that person to love, you know. Um, I found I've I have found enough me. You know, I know who I am enough to be with another person right now. And that's what I was waiting on. Before before that, I knew it fell. So now I know who I am and I know what I can bring to the table. It, things I feel like things would, would be much easier, but they're not. They're so much harder. Like, before, things were so easy. And maybe, like, you know, I start thinking that it's just my teeth. And it might be just my teeth, you know, because I feel like that that's, like I said, that's my only insecurity. My teeth. And, um, I mean, like, I could get booed off every duck, et cetera, you know. Oh, I found a lump on my boob. Um, I'm gonna get that checked out. Um, I'm rambling, but I am tired and I smoked and I just, I, I will probably lay down and go to sleep in the next light. But I probably, after I load this and it's supposed to, uh, will be going to sleep, but I wish you guys a Merry Christmas, and like I said, I'm trying to keep it positive, think, and you guys, think about that too, you know, think, think, this is to celebrate the birth, the birth of Christ, Jesus Christ, so, um, think of it that way, you know, not just the ju just the gift shoot and stuff. I mean, if I was to focus on that, you know, I can't say that I'm not a little upset that I didn't really get much. But you know, you you know, you appreciate whatever you do get because it is the stuff that counts. But it, remember why and what we're celebrating. On this Christmas. And please be safe you guys. Not just tonight. And tomorrow. But um, uh, New Year's. And in between. They say that the, the most fatal accident. Car accidents happen. Between. Christmas Eve. And two days after New Year's. So you guys be careful. Okay. And. Um. I guess I'm gonna go. I'll tell you why I hate Christmas, and maybe next year I'll, I'll be on here talking about why I love Christmas. Okay? Um, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Dolls, stay safe.